You might recall the famous ice bucket challenge. It was a viral trend back in 2014 that raised awareness for ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. Well, a similar effort is taking place this month in the River City. And if you happen to be a business or community leader, you can take part in it as well. It's called Jacksonville CEO Soak. Joining us this morning is Jimmy Judge, Assistant Chief with JSO, and his wife Shannon, and Michelle Decker with ALS Association Florida Chapter. Thank you all for coming in. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Jimmy, we have talked previously, not you and I. This is our first time meeting, so it's a pleasure to meet you, but I know you've done stories with other reporters yes, here. Yes, sir. For uh, people not familiar with your story, when were you diagnosed with ALS? I was diagnosed in May of 2020, but my symptoms started about 20, 20 months ago. So I've had almost two years, but I've been diagnosed a little over a year. And how are you doing so far? I'm doing great. Um, you know, obviously I talk funny and I've got some high motor skills off, but with my support system, I'm, I'm fighting as hard as I can. Well, you look amazing. Well, thank you. You really do. And I know part of your support system is your wife, Shannon. The biggest part, for sure. <laughs> Shannon, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Thank you for having us. You know, as his wife, as his protector, if you will, what do you want people to know? I want people to know that we're on the precipice of a change in ALS. We really are at a time, um, there's been no really significant treatment options for 150 years since it was um, identified as a disease. And right now we are on the precipice of some really important treatments, not cures, but treatments. And um, we can live with anything as long as there's treatment. We can live with acute, you know, terminal not, is not as much, but acute we can do. And there are two treatments that are really, really showing promise. We have Neurone and another one, AMX, that are showing some real promise for patients and we're right on the precipice of being able to access those. And the reason why we're on that precipice is because we have so many people raising awareness and funds yes. about ALS. Absolutely. Did either of you know much about ALS before your diagnosis? No, I, I, not, I heard of it, but they thought I had MS at first. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. no, I didn't know much about it. It's so rare I, I never worry about it. When I was diagnosed, I was really healthy. And I never dreamt I would have anything. I, I mean, I was a vegetarian and my blood work was great. I thought, yeah. um, I'm, I'm in great shape, but didn't know much about it. But as soon as I was diagnosed, my wife, Started devouring the internet, and <laughs> so we, we learned a lot, mm -hmm. and, and, and hooked up with the local ALS Association, and they've been great to us. I know, they Michelle have. Decker and the, the whole gang over at the ALS Florida chapter, they're amazing. With that, we're going to bring you into this conversation. We have a big event coming up on the 22nd. Yes, we do. It's the Jacksonville CEO Soak, and it's at the Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium. And we are very excited to have people get involved with us and to come out and get soaked uh, to raise funds and awareness for this disease. Who is participating in this? So we have some really exciting names. Um, we have some Jacksonville um, celebrities. We have the Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry is involved. Uh, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Mike Williams, he's there. And we are very excited to say we have Urban Meyer, Jacksonville Jaguar, Jacksonville Jaguar's head coach, is going to be our VIP soaky for the day. So That's so awesome. For people wanting to get involved, mm -hmm. where can they go to do so? So go to ALS.org slash Florida and click on events and that's where you'll find our events tab and then you can get to me that way. We can get you signed up or registered or whatever you want to do to get involved. And local people, boots on the ground here who want to raise awareness and funds, where does all of that money, where does that all of that awareness go? Does it stay local? It stays local, yes. Yeah. So we have clinics here in Jacksonville, the Mayo Clinic and UF Health and all of our funds go there to help them with their clinic, to see our patients, and to help them throughout their battle with ALS. Awesome. Well, we thank you all very much for coming thank in this morning. Us. Thank, thank you, you for having you. us. I appreciate thank it. Y'all have us so much when we in town, boy. Y'all matter. You will always have a platform here. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Zach.